Hello, hello, hello. Oh boy, I think we are live. Are we live? Is it true? Is it actually true? I hope. I hope everything is working. I hope my camera is working. I hope my music is working. I hope everything is working. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry guys. I was supposed to be live 20 minutes ago. You probably have seen the screen. Uh, it was actually going live. And then my Mac decided to first kill my audio drivers. I'm not sure why, but something glitched out and my music died, my, my camera sound died. Everything I checked yesterday evening before the stream died. So I, ha I, didn't get, I wasn't getting any audio. I would just go live and you wouldn't hear me and any music whatsoever. So I proceeded to find, restart the Mac. And then he said, oh, by the way, I have this huge update for you. <laughs> and then it started to like update and says, hey, 20 minutes remaining time. I was like, oh, freaking freak. So it started to update, I was like, wait, if it updates, then probably all my software will stop working. And that's exactly what happened. My OBS stopped to recognize my camera and uh, the music worked, but the camera stopped working. So I fixed that one in another five minutes with like updating OBS. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, you guys. I, I know we should have started at 9 a.m. Pacific, but uh, hey, we're here anyway, better late than ever. Hey, I had a new thing. <clears throat> I got a new thing, so make sure you do that. Like and subscribe. It cost me all nine bucks, so do that. It actually has a light too. Check it out. It's actually a bit overexposed now, but it's for, for night streams, but this is for like morning streams. So like and subscribe. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm just checking, like, I think we're good. At least the internet is working, so that is good. I'm so sorry. I know a lot of you were like, oh, he's not coming today. I am. I, I know. I, I was like, I'm so late, but yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. You need to patent that mug. So the, the mug, uh, this is actually the real one. So this was, uh, I think my wife gave it to me. Uh, oh, wait, no, that was from a friend. <clears throat> so this is an actual mug, but the one you see in the intro is I just, what I did for the intro, I just set up Mario and like bricks and coffee and I photoshopped um, the, the you know the logo and the bricks and coffee I kind of like it so I'm going to actually do those mugs at some point in time and the the vapor the coffee vapor you see is actually after effects <laughs> so it's not real but shush it's actually hot coffee mm. Yeah, so welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Bricks and Coffee episode two. Felk, felk you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining everyone. Gabriel, Ethan, Sarah, Starbricks. How are you doing, man? Mate, mate. I, I would say, I, I wanted to say man because that's how I usually do, but Gal, of course, Sarah, my mate, welcome. Uh, Adrian, welcome. Arman, welcome. Brick Star Wars boy, as always. Julius, welcome. Zbricks, hi. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. How are you doing? Bob Builds, Coffee in Hand Productions. Red Brick Redemption, thank you so much guys for being so patient. I love you all because you actually waited for 20 minutes for me to start. I do love you all. Uh, yeah, Sarah Mc McClelland. So we have uh, two Sarahs in the chat. Osof, welcome. Uh, yeah, I see you guys. Thank you so much. Callum, welcome. Bob Builds. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, Bricks and Coffee, episode two, if you guys don't know what it is, it's my little show where I just sit down and uh, kind of catch up on the news last week, but also talk life and, 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 and how things were going. So I just want to take a few moments before we even begin with the news to just, well, make sure you enjoy your coffee. This is called Bricks and Coffee after all. Uh, how was your week? Any wins of the week? Any good things that happened this week? Um, for me, like, of course, put it in the chat. I'm gonna try to catch up with you guys. Um, for me, busy week. Uh, I, I love using the word busy a lot because I'm just like, that's my life. I don't know why, but I, I, I kind of want to chill down a bit because I think I work too much, but that's another story. Um, New Year's resolutions, uh, halfway there. So with posting two videos a week, I'm not there yet. Um, I'm not sure, like, wh why is that that January is such a busy time? I don't know, everywhere, like, there was some, there were so many things to catch up on, in my life at least, so I didn't even post a video, so I'm sorry for that, but I have two or three videos coming up this week. Uh, and actually, we're gonna have a second live stream probably today, so I'm just, like, giving a heads up, I have to schedule it, but we're gonna do a little sponsored live stream from LEGO, so just a heads up, if you guys, you guys can join, probably gonna do it around noon, 
or 1 p.m. today. I do have uh, Lego ask me to do like a instructions plus live stream, so I'm gonna modify my setup a bit. I'm gonna actually show the iPad and I'm gonna build two small Technic sets using iPad only uh, with the app. So we're gonna test it out and we're gonna hang out. So uh, I, uh, I was uh, kindly asked by Lego to do that. So let's do that. Mm. And uh, any other wins of the week? There is a big thing happening in my life, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it hush hush for now. Um, but yeah, if it goes through, you're gonna guys hear first first come about it, probably. We'll see. But I'm not I'm not wanna spoil anything, or I don't wanna like jeopardize anything that might happen, but it's, it's gonna be big. Uh, did you watch Umbrella Academy? No, I did not. I did not. Um, yeah, this is a small studio update. I got the, uh, the little light set up here. Like, this wall was so empty. There's another shelf actually up rear will up near to the to the ceiling uh, and there's gonna be another wall here so but this one I just saw it in some like small store that my wife was buying some clothes and I saw this and was like how much is it eight bucks cool let's do it like and subscribe <laughs> so there's a small update like that um, coffee tastes good of course all week every week and uh, overall it was a good week it was a kind of a weird week just adjusting to um, to new life in 2021. How is the year treating you so far? For me, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't want to get too much into political things in the US. You guys saw what was happening. Um, it was some crazy time this week, probably some historical events uh, that many of you are aware of. Uh, but I don't want to discuss, like, I'm just gonna say I fully condemn what happened and it was crazy for those people to do that. Uh, all that capital uh, insurrection. Um, and it, you know, I'm not American or anything, but it did touch me and did maybe not devastate me, but I was like, wow, that this is super scary. Uh, I live in the US, you know, I live in California. I've been calling this country home for the last six years and I've never seen during my life in the US, I've never seen anything like this. And many of many people living here have never seen anything like this in their lifetimes. So I just hope, you know, uh, tensions will not be higher when it comes to inauguration in 20 in, in a few days with another president and uh, that's all i'm gonna say that was that was crazy to what to to like witness uh you know real time kind of so that's enough about like the events of this week but yeah it was a big it was a big deal in the us but it's it's i think it's over like people responsible are getting uh, arrested as we speak Can you yes, Zebrix. Uh, this the second stream will be again like I'm gonna finish this one, eat probably some lunch or something, um, some late breakfast, and we're gonna. I have to like switch my setup because uh, they want me to show the the instructions plus, which is an app for. I'm gonna use my iPad, but I don't have a second camera setup. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use my my webcam from my computer, and this camera I'm gonna just like point on the, at the iPad to show you the process. Lego is like kindly asking me, can, can, you, can you show it how it works? And I tried it yesterday kind of like um, without building a set, and it's really cool to like see. It's like Mario, where you, uh, Mario was only digital building, and this is for, ev for most sets right now, like they're expanding the, the base to include most new and older sets with like 3D model and digital building. So I kind of want to test it out. Sometimes like when the instruction booklet is big, like for UCS sets, for example, I would love to have, to not have the burden of holding this on my desk and like flipping. I love paper, I love paper version, don't get me wrong. But for streaming, I would rather have like a little stand with iPad and just like, you know, swipe the, the steps. I think for, for a person like me, who who is like mostly streaming most builds, uh, it, it would be a very good thing. So I. I I, I humbly accepted that offer from Lego, so we're gonna do that. Mm. Yoda? We only have baby Yoda in the shot. We only have baby Yoda. He's so cute. He lost his uh, little Christmas hat, but uh, we're, up, we're over Christmas, right? Okay, coffee is warm, it's tasty. So, uh, any wins of the week? Did I, did I miss anything? Oh, you got the bonsai tree. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about the new sets. I just ordered the Lantern Festival yesterday night, so it's available in the US. We're gonna talk about it, I'm gonna show you. Hello, Goofy Brick, Pink Wheels. Oh, I saw you, Pink Wheels, before. Welcome back, by the way. Thank you so much for joining. My Patreon, love you. Uh, Kyle, welcome. 
Nice. So yeah. Guys, you can put anything in the chat. I'm gonna try to get back to you. Um, I got a bunch of things to talk about today, but yeah, uh, we have uh, ideas, 25 projects. We have so many things. So I hope my screen is working. Digital instructions only may possibly mean cheaper sets in the future. I'm for that. Coffee in hand productions, probably yes. That's one thing, digital instructions. So cutting costs on, on printing and paper, right? Uh, just sustainability. And also I think, you know, uh, the move with uh, paper bags instead of plastic ones inside the sets is also another thing that only will probably cost, cut cost of production and maybe the margin on the sets, which means cheaper sets for us, but also uh, I would rather, you know, have a bunch of paper to recycle after a set than right now a bunch of foil. That the only way to recycle that foil is to bring it to a special recycling facility. You just cannot throw it in the trash in the recycling bin in your house. You know, and that's something I am looking forward to when it comes to Lego, to just get to those paper bags. I actually support that idea. You guys probably uh, heard me voice my, my support for this idea. Yeah, we don't know when when are, when those are coming in. I know they they were in a testing phase. I know they were doing some market research. I know they were doing some testing when it comes to type of bags and the color and like the uh, actual type of paper probably. Uh, for it to be recyclable, it has to be an um, unlayered paper. I think that's what you, that or. Um, it has to be this like un unlaminated, right? Just clean, uh, recyclable paper, nothing else. I got the Lego Technic Ferrari for a GTE at my local Target. Congrats! I was I was hunting for the bonsai tree just yesterday because it's still out of stock on lego.com and there is this one Target that has these in stock apparently, but I have to drive 40 miles to get it, so... I don't know. For a 50 bucks set, I don't think it's worth spending gas to drive 40 miles to get it. I'm just gonna wait for it to come back. I, I wanna get it so bad. Uh, but I, I did order the Lantern Festival from the Chinese New Year sets. Um, so there is that. And I'm, I'm buying the Ninjago Gardens in just four days when it comes out. Oh, the pricing is out. It's 300 bucks. We're gonna, we're, I'm gonna show you. All right. Woo. Let's go. Let's go uh, with the screen share. Um, I, I, got, I think I should have everything ready to... Oh, we should talk about this first, for sure. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, oh baby, 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 baby. So, the next rumor, probably have you guys have seen, because I was... Uh, you have seen the rumors, you have seen maybe the talks on, on LEGO YouTube um, community. I, I was part of the Quarantine Cast Beyond the Brick stream on Tuesday. By the way, Beyond the Brick is coming back with their Quarantine Cast streams uh, every Tuesday now. So I joined the first one, it was super fun. I'm gonna try to make sure I join as often as I can. Sometimes it's not possible, but I will. It's like Tuesday, every, um, every Tuesday it's 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But yeah, the, the, the heaviest rumor right now, and it might be very much true, and we were just, I think, discussing what would possibly surpass the Colosseum as the largest set ever made. What could be better than a remake of the Death Star? So, the rumor is, it's coming from Promo Bricks, every user Yakface, I think website Yakface. So reports are coming from sources who, which are usually pretty accurate when it comes to rumors on Star Wars, uh, same guys predicted uh, the Falcon, the same guys predicted the, um, I think, the A-Wing. A bunch of these guys have it right, so the, the, the rumor must be based on something quite accurate. Um, so the next Death Star might be an $800, 11,000 piece set. And wah wah wee wah, I mean, we don't even know if that's gonna be the comeback to the Death Star 2, like, more like a display model. Or are we getting something like this? Now, looking at the price to piece ratio, I'm saying that we're not getting a playset. This is not gonna be it. If you have a playset at this scale, it's either gonna be humongous, but the price to piece ratio tells me that this set will have a ton of small set, small bricks, like the Colosseum. It's gonna be a lot of one by ones to keep that price to piece ratio quite uh, affordable. What that says, it, it's gonna be, you know, display scale. It's not gonna be minifig or, or play scale. I'm saying that it's gonna be a highly detailed, probably bigger in, in, in size Death Star 2, or just a complete Death Star 1 with actual like sphere model, which 
will be basically a, you know, space version of Colosseum when it comes to build techniques and stuff like that. So I'm calling it like having 3000 pieces over $800, you know, so price to piece ratio is like less than one, like much less than like half, like five cents a piece, I believe. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be the large display set. We're talking Hogwarts castle style probably like micro scale Colosseum style, you know it. Definitely that. At this price I don't see a place set for this price. So I'm I'm, I'm calling I think it's gonna be a Death Star 2, but might it might as well be a Death Star 1 with just complete sphere look, actual Death Star look, not the open like play style look. I don't think it's gonna be May the 4th, that's way too soon. I'm, I'm gonna be saying that's next year. May the 4th this year is either the gunship or something else. I have no idea what, but I think it's, it might be the gunship because it, it's been, uh, you know, the, the win of that vote was a, for a while ago. Uh, and there's also the, the, there's a rumor saying that the gunship, same source, same source, they say that the gunship will have set number 75309 and it's gonna be $350, which is a lot for a UCS set. So A-Wing was 200 and most sets that are Starfighter based are 200. And the rumor is saying that the gunship will be 350. So wow, that, that will be huge. That'd be a massive set. And interesting enough, there's another D2C set that's 200. So, you know, we don't know, like May the 4th, maybe something else that's 200, and we don't even know what, an X-Wing? Who knows, $200 set is gonna be as same as the, I'm looking at the UCS at my shelf, the Y-Wing or the A-Wing. I think we're only missing the X-Wing or the B-Wing from the Rebellion Starship. So I think that might be it, something from that uh, classic trilogy. I, I'm calling X-Wing, probably. Uh, come back of the red five or, so, or something um, but this if that's the gunship then awesome but yet yeah, the death star will be uh this set number seven five three one three a force uh, 800 so big stuff yeah i wonder about 200 dollars set too i don't think it's called d2c so people were saying all right it's gonna be a big play set like i don't know like the um uh Tanty 4 or something. Tanty 4 is not considered really a UCS, right? It was 200 anyway, so I think it's gonna be something the size of a Tanty 4. Uh, nevertheless, it's exciting. It's exciting because we're getting two large things uh, and, and a massive thing. Like, that's no moon, you know, kind of thing. A UCS star. Oh, a TIE Interceptor. I, I see you, Partial Studios. Actually, I didn't think about it. Yeah, there's no reason we wouldn't be getting an Imperial Starfighter, am I right? So we had the TIE Fighter, we just, we, uh, the TIE Fighter pretty much just retired, not that long ago, honestly. And yeah, we never got a good Interceptor update, so I, I, uh, that's, that's a good point, that might be a, a Imperial Starship, this thing. So I'm calling, maybe, but it, it won't be the TIE Bomber, because the TIE Bomber lost the vote with the gunship, and they wouldn't release the, the TIE Bomber before the gunship, because that would just spark an outrage in the community because, you know, it was the last voted set, the TIE Bomber. Uh, so it won't be the TIE Bomber. Uh, I think the best choice might be TIE Interceptor. Absolutely, yeah, that's a good call. So TIE Interceptor, X-Wing, something along those lines. Uh, iconic Starfighter from either of the sides. A Nebulon B Frigate. Again, Nebulon B Frigate was a second to be voted uh, after the gunship. So they won't make anything that lost to the gunship first, right? So they won't make the Nebulon B and they won't make the TIE Bomber first. These sets might be a thing in the future, but the, the gunship has to come, come out first. TIE Defender, that would be amazing. I, I would like to have a, a B-Wing update, for example. Yeah, if not X-Wing, then a B-Wing. I wouldn't mind a UCS X-Wing, honestly. I know we got some really good playsets from the X-Wing, um, but it's been a while since we got the Red 5 in, in this scale, right? So the only big X-Wing we got in the meantime was the, um, the LEGO Employee exclusive uh, Christmas X-Wing, right? All right, so that's, there is that, nothing else yet. Um, but, you know, looking at those sources again, I feel we're, we're in for something big. For sure, I think it's gonna be true. 
a sculpture, maybe Darth Maul. Yeah, we had a Darth Maul sculpture, but I'm not sure if they're coming back to that. I, I think they like the, the new helmet bust scale. I don't think that Darth Maul was a very likable set. It wasn't very enjoyable to build. I don't think LEGO really wants to come back to that. Could be a... So there's another rumor that it could be a Darth Maul statue? Hmm. I wouldn't be... Hmm. Or maybe something from the Mandalorian? I don't know. Um, if it was a Darth Maul statue, I... Uh, nah, I wouldn't be so excited about that. I would, I, I would rather have something, something else, honestly. Yeah, I, I would be disappointed as well. Mm -hmm. I would rather have a, a, a another Starfighter. That's a, that's a good update. That's me, but maybe people will like this. The statue, a Mando bust would be cool. Yeah, but I mean, we just got the Boba Fett in 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 bust scale, the small. So I don't know. But there is a Boba Fett uh, TV show coming as well. So we don't know. But yeah, there is that big stuff for Star Wars fans, including myself. There you go. All right. Can we talk about this real quick? Uh, by real quick, I'm, I'm saying uh, it's gonna probably take a while, but I'm gonna compensate that for you because because of my uh, technical difficulties this morning and being late, I'm, I think this stream will be longer than expected, so we can talk about it. 25 projects qualify for the latest, the latest LEGO Ideas review period, so it's not like record-breaking record 39 projects that we had, was 39? I think it was 39, uh, that we had last year, but still 25 is second uh, most projects uh, joining the review stage, a single review stage. So I'm not gonna get too much into details, I just wanna see what you guys... We talked about it again on Beyond the Brick quarantine cast stream, so check it out, it was from last Tuesday. They even uh, took a video, like a cut of a video from it when we just talked about it, so you can just look at the, at the bit. And I was there too, so we, were, we had a great discussion, but I wanna bring it up to my audience as well. Um, so real quick, and maybe I'm just gonna go through them and, and tell you what I think has the biggest chance of becoming a set from this wave, all right? Depending the licensing or the um, appeal, mass market appeal and things like that. Too many IP sets, uh, yeah, that's, that's one takeaway I had from it. Like too much stuff that's very IP related or region specific, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So, uh, can I zoom in a bit? All right. So yeah, 737 plane from Big Planes Customs. This guy is doing a lot of planes on online. I'm, I'm gonna switch to this screen, maybe it's gonna be better. And I'm gonna move the chat just, cause I have the chat on the same screen. Uh, can I move it? Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, I had to move my screen a bit, there we go. Because I have the chat on the same screen so I can see you guys better. So, you know, it's like it's like the, the wall from Robin Hood. I have my chat close, I can see you better. Anyway, uh, it has a big chance of, of being made actually if LEGO goes big planes. I think this guy is like, this guy has had more projects getting high votes in the idea. So, might as well, right? And, you know, we know a story of a certain failed... Um, licensing relationship between Bang and Lego and that will be called the V22 Osprey so they have a it, it shows they have a relationship open so <clears throat> if not for Osprey then maybe a passenger plane they're not using the military except for the tankers KC-135 which are used for tanking warfighters um, in air and are based on a passenger plane <laughs> so but yeah you know uh, gee, I wonder if that's gonna get made. <laughs> great timing. We had a <laughs> great timing. I'm, I'm so sorry for this guy. Sky Walter. Mm, gee. Moving on. <laughs> Mystery Shack by Mini Brick Productions. Top Lego 8 and Mini Brick Productions. Um, it's a second Mystery Shack I've seen and the first one was already rejected. So I, I don't think LEGO will pursue this again. I'm not gonna decide which one is better because we've seen a one in, a, in, some, in the past, in the review stage. If, if, it, uh, it, uh, if it was rejected once, I don't think this is gonna get made again. But yeah, I, I see the appeal. I'm not familiar with the show at all. I know that it, the show has a ton of fans. Um, so probably a lot of people would love to have it, but 
for me, it, it doesn't have any personal appeal. Um, I just, let me just restart the music. I'm just not into this show. Uh, let's see, can we, can we do some broadcasting? The music, uh, I'm gonna change the, um, the uh, music. To some chill stuff. Um, Ultimate Remit Top Highlights, Countryside, Retro Wave, no. Spring Unplugged. Okay, let's play that. Let's see what it is. Oh, there we go. Hopefully, it's not too loud. All right. So yeah, I don't think it's gonna get made. It was rejected once. Uh, I don't. If Lego didn't change their mind, then I don't see the the chance here, unfortunately. Um. Oh, gee. Wonder if that's gonna get made. <laughs> now, without getting too much into detail, I made a specific video about it. Brick 1980 made a police station. Uh, he even said in the comments that his design was um, after Lego probably had this one in the works, so he doesn't really consider Lego stealing his idea or anything like that. It's uncanny when it comes to similarities. It has a donut shop. It's just a corner building, so that's the main difference. It has a car included, um, but you know, the, the, the resemblance is uncanny. I know. Gee, I wonder if that's gonna get made. Of course, like, it's already become, became a Lego set in, uh, in the modular set lineup. But yeah, he even, uh, the actual designer acknowledged that it wasn't anything like any foul play from Lego or anything. Like there was just like a, a pure major coincidence. And as I said in my video explaining this coincidence in the, when I was talking about the unveiling of the police station from Lego, is that, you know, like, oh, but it has a donut shop and the police station just exactly like the set. But you know, there are very few things you can connect to a cop than a donut, okay? So everybody that thinks about, you know, Cops, especially in the US, it's like, yeah, cops love donuts. It's like a running joke. So of course, if you think about a set, you're gonna place a donut shop next to the police station, just like it just connects. So they just, you know, great great minds think alike and Lego and the Brick 1980 came up to the same conclusion. Uh, and I think it was just a pure, uh, very uncanny coincidence. Anyway. Bag End by Subfan, Lord of the Rings stuff, it's IP, uh, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be possible to, to really make it happen, but it's beautiful built and I love the, the, the book incorporation in here. Uh, really would love to see that one, but as long as LEGO doesn't pursue anything from Lord of the Rings, I don't think this will be happening. There has to be something that will justify making this set. Maybe LEGO still holds the license, maybe it's possible, maybe they want to come back to it. I would love to see it, it's beautiful, uh, but the chances are probably like 30, yes, 70, no, probably. Yeah, Lego, yeah, yeah, so Lottery is a Lego thing, but maybe they still hold the license, who knows, but it's been a while since they uh, pursued Lord of the Rings, right? So it's uh, it's something that, uh, that will probably not be made, unfortunately. We'll see. This, uh, I don't know, Bob's Vintage Bricks. So this is a, a UK uh, sci-fi show. It's called Red Dwarf Starbug. It's like, a, like this British humor, kind of like, not very serious uh, sci-fi show from the UK, that's the only thing I know about it. <laughs> it just doesn't appeal to me at all. Like, I don't, I don't think, it's a very region specific, so I, I don't see this getting made anyway. It looks weird. I'm not gonna say cool because I don't really like it that much, but <laughs> it's just, I, I don't think I would love to have this play on it on, in my studio. No, not really. So weird. Anyway. Avatar the Sari Bender EP by Studio Tirico. Yeah, I know you guys love Avatar. Uh, this might have a shot if LEGO pursues that license, but I think we had Avatar set in the past and I don't think they made it. Starbug! So you guys know what I'm talking about, but I have no idea what the Starbug is. I never I never seen this show. I never I don't I have no idea. So chat, can you explain what, what that was? <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, Avatar again, I'm not a fan. Uh, I know a lot of people love it. So probably will will be much more successful than the previous one, than this one, for sure. But yeah, is the music still too loud? All right. Ooh, 
this might be interesting, but there is another one that made it to the to the next review stage I'm gonna talk about later, but yeah, if LEGO doesn't come back to Castle, this should be it. Uh, I, I would love for them to pick it up in this like Barracuda Bay style comeback. There was this like Bricklink set that was supported by LEGO and you know Bricklink make an experimental run of actual sets. And the Luvenstein I think was Castle, that was the set that you were able to actually purchase through Bricklink. And that was pretty much the closest we got to LEGO Castle comeback. So yeah, I would love to see this one, um, but I, I, I think it's... If it's not gonna get made in LEGO Ideas, then I think LEGO will actually reintroduce Castle at some point. Like, there are so many voices asking for it, and I think this will, it will be a thing in, 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 uh, in one eventuality. So we'll see. This one, I don't see being made at all. It's a, it's a very niche set. It's uh, explaining the MRI concept, the technology of magnetic uh, resonance. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it was upvoted by the medical community probably and uh, and I, uh, for me it seems incomplete. I love the concept, it's a very interesting piece of technology that many people should know about but I don't see the mass market appeal at all. And it doesn't even look good in my opinion, so yeah. Moving on, this one is fantastic, Motorized Lighthouse by Roses Must Build, so I see this one has a shot at being made, especially with the light brick at the top. We never got a really large lighthouse in the past, especially ex expect, uh, ex uh, the exception being, uh, I think there was a Scooby-Doo one and it was a creator small one. But yeah, this one, I would, I'm, I'm talking the size of the Vestas turbine, right? Like really like beautiful tall lighthouse with a functionality power functions to make the light actually spin. So yes, I, I can see this one getting light, like ideas treatment. It's not IP, it's beautiful, it's very creative, looks amazing. Definitely something I would I would love to see. So it, I, I, I'm saying it has a chance. It has a shot at becoming a LEGO idea set very well. So Avatar, the other Avatar, the blue people Avatar. <laughs> uh, I love the use for the grapple hooks with illuminate like luminous um, brick type, love it. Um, yeah, I mean, we're getting probably the next avatar from James Cameron at some point. Uh, it's beautiful as a mock, as a, it's like a mock that made it to LEGO Ideas, I'm saying, so I don't think this will appeal as a set, very much so. It's beautiful and colorful, but it's it's just a beautiful like convention mock. I'm not seeing this as a set. Downscaled, probably, yeah. It's a good topic for LEGO to pick up, definitely, but not in this form. It's somebody's mock that made it to the LEGO Ideas, so I, it, it wasn't LEGO Ideas specific set, 100% not. So it, has a, it, it needs a lot of um, downscaling to make it work. So this one, uh, again, I'm, I'm slightly familiar with Spirit Away. I know it's a, it's a cult-ish movie at this point, it's a cult-ish lore. Um, Definitely something that many people would love to see, but it's too big in my opinion. It's like that. It's beautiful, but it also it reminds me of the Ninjago City way too much. Uh, and I see the appeal, but again, downscaling required for ideas, I think. No matter like how big the idea sets are getting, LEGO Ideas needs a balance between large stuff like the Barracuda Bay and smaller stuff like the Sesame Street. So I would, that would be amazing to see, but I think it needs a lot of work when it comes to just the pure size of it. It's just way too big. Jumanji um, by Nikana. So I like Jumanji, I loved Robin Williams uh, in that movie. Um, but I think, as I expressed my concern on, my, on the Beyond the Brick stream, I feel like the, the cracked house is cool, but it reminds me too much of the uh, Home Alone McAllister house that's coming. And for someone who doesn't understand Jumanji and didn't watch it, if you take off the logo, it's just the cracked house. Just the like destroyed house and that's it. It doesn't say Jumanji at all. I don't, I don't show what's inside. Maybe there are pictures on the project page. But I would rather see the actual board game itself as a model than this thing. So yeah, it's cool, but take away the logo and it's just a, a, a house after an earthquake if somebody doesn't know what they're looking at. So. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of this. Um, this one, beautiful Bricky Brick is a very, um, you know, present designer on LEGO Ideas. And this is absolutely stunning of a set in a modular line. 
for ideas, it would require a ton of downscaling, uh, and I would love to see it as a modular in the creator lineup. But the detail alone, it's beautiful, but I don't think it's gonna make it to LEGO Ideas just because of the sheer amount of presets it requires to just make those beautiful facades. It's, it's stunning, I love it. But I, like, reasonably speaking, this is not LEGO Ideas material, right? It, it has to be like adult base set, it's beautiful, but also we just got the Colosseum as an Italian set of, of the ages and I don't see the Venice being made so close to the Colosseum. But yeah, I would love it. Many of people would want it, but it's not ideas compatible, I think. This one, uh, rather a zero zero made this one as a, it's a uh, Auto Union Type C race car. It's a classic like 40s, 30s almost, I think, a race car. So yeah. It reminds me of the Caterham from LEGO Ideas, um, but I think it would have a very niche audience to appeal to. So not many people are, like I'm not even familiar with uh, the history of, of uh, racing. Um, it's beautiful, of course, but again, it has to has more like a mass market ma appeal. So I don't think it's gonna sell very well. Um, this one, Automated Garbage Truck by Monkey Master at Alexander Hamsterton. Uh, beautiful, great functionality, but too small for LEGO Ideas and it can, can totally be a part of a large LEGO CD set or a $30 LEGO CD set as a standalone with that functionality. So make it LEGO CD, not LEGO Ideas, that's what I'm saying. Uh, this is uh, just a quick one, this is a TX Master Games by TX Master, it's a Polish designer actually. Uh, the guy runs I think at Taekwondo school in Poland, so it's like a martial arts thing. But for LEGO Ideas, uh, it's it's... I get the concept, probably it's some sort of like a board game or whatever it is, um, but it had a lot of comments on the project page and it's just too simple, uh, doesn't feel like it justifies the effort compared to other projects, so it won't get, it won't get made at all. Um, beautiful for architecture, Milwaukee Art Museum by Vida Andras, very region specific set, not many people even know what it is, um, and it's, it, it's not, it doesn't have this landmark status that can anyone like in Europe can even recognize. So I'm not, uh, beautiful for architecture, but I don't think it's gonna get made at all. Uh, the car wash by Bricky Brick. So two sets from Bricky Brick, you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, in the, the, this guy know what he's doing, but this one is like an expansion to the uh, modular diner, pretty much. Beautiful, of course, but again, not Lego Ideas material, can be made in Creator, but also has a slight chance because we already have the diner when it comes to this 50s California theme, pretty much. Love it to bits, but I don't think it has a chance at all. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. I'm just, I'm just trying to convey what we can realistically look at to become a set, all right, from this wave. And this is not it, unfortunately. Uh, Wallace and Gromit. A UK stop motion clay animation um, characters, if you guys don't know. I loved it as a kid, I think it's very original. If LEGO can get the IP, we might have a shot at this because it was popular uh, across the world in many places and uh, it's just the resemblance is fantastic. Like he, the guy nailed everything from uh, the, the dog and the guy and the, the, the robot and the chicken, the sheep. Sean the sheep, by the way, he was having a, a separate spin-off movie. Uh, and the, the pants robot, yeah, uh, there's so much to it. I loved this as a kid, not many people may be familiar with this, so you may disagree with me, but I think it had some audience uh, in, in different parts of the world. In Poland, in the US, I think, in the UK especially. So I can see this one being made if LEGO pulls the trigger. Among Us, this one, there's even one more Among Us made in for the next review stage i think there are like four sets approved uh next to fall guys and among us those two games were made uh super popular this year and it's not gonna get made you know why because i think these games popularity will dissipate over time and i don't think lego will get into that plus the game is about killing people <laughs> or little spacesuit um, creatures whatever those are so i <laughs> I don't, it's great, I mean, I never played the game, but I know it's it's hugely popular, it's like Fortnite, pretty much at this point, but... They do Minecraft, I get it, they do Minecraft, okay, but, uh, I don't know. 
Minecraft has a never-ending appeal when it comes to lore and you can constantly create stuff because Minecraft is like never-ending. Among Us, is it never-ending as a LEGO thing? Maybe a one-time shot in ideas? Maybe. We'll see what LEGO says, but I'm saying that it might be very hard for LEGO to justify this one. But they, maybe they will, because they actually have like four or five projects in the review stages at various times, so... Maybe, but I don't think it's a long-term material, that's what I'm saying, okay? So I think as Minecraft will probably live for the next 10 years. Can you say that Among Us will live for the next 10 years? Hmm. Yeah, and same for Fall Guys, same for Fall Guys. Like, my friend Brick and Nick made a fantastic Fall Guys set, and I love, I would love to see him succeed. But from the business standpoint and Lego, uh, when they make this set, when the actual set gets made, I think we're gonna be way past the popularity peak of those games. So that's what I'm saying. And Lego looks at, you know, if it's gonna sell or not. We'll see. This one is beautiful, actually. This one is Roman Warship by Ian Ha. And yeah, definitely Lego Ideas material, historical. It might be about war, so not sure how that uh, works out. Uh, Lego may just deny it just because it's war-related. It has warship in the name. So, you know, that's the only concern I might have. Ex except for that, beautiful display, love it, love the colors, very historically accurate. Even Joshua from Beyond the Brick is very into his story and he loved this one, he's, that's his favorite. So, yeah. Beautiful as an idea as a display piece, but maybe too much related to war, in my opinion. So we'll have to see. Adam's Family, Mystery Mansion, again, beautiful set, but we had Hidden Side, we just had The Haunted House. It's beautiful, it's a corner one, sort of. Uh, and I would love to see it, but it has a very slight chance of becoming a thing. And that's not the first one again. I think Adam's Family was a thing in LEGO Ideas in the past. And those tigers, yeah, those tigers are great in the, in the previous one. So yeah, this one, not really. This one, GMC Blue Chip 100 from 957, again, beautiful car, but not many people will actually get what it is. It's from Ink Manu Manuel, and he's probably a car enthusiast. And uh, it American person might buy it, who knows? I have no idea what these are. Uh, but American person who knows the history of pickup trucks in America, yeah. But a guy from Europe who has no idea what these are will not buy this set. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's too region-specific. It's too niche-based to become a LEGO Ideas car. And it's also, like, for the scale, it's more like a creator material. Hello, Brick Mansion. Brick Mansion Ben, what's up? Thanks for joining, everyone, by the way. I'm just keep talking about this Ideas set, but you guys keep joining. Fuzzy Brick, welcome. Charlie, welcome. Yo, 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 what's up? And Bricks, hey, how we doing? Vladimir is here as well, I see you there. Red Brick Redemption, mm -hmm. And the last one that made it just in the nick of time is the Viking Village. And again, same like the castle. This one has a... Might have a big shot of returning. So, you can say like, okay, but Vikings were like war guys, they will go to war. Same like the, that Roman thing, right? Um, so, maybe I, I should not be saying like, hey, Lego will not make it because these guys are just fighters. Probably we had Vikings in the past, so that's not a concern, I guess. Uh, so we'll see, but yeah, this one is really good. It has a lot of play playability and people would love to either see the castle or the Vikings come back. So I can see this one having a shot. So for me, it's either this one has a big shot. The, the lighthouse has a big shot of becoming a set. I would say the 737 bang might, might be a, a thing, but uh, if the license works for Bang and Lego, then probably. So yeah, this one is as well as a big maybe. So yeah, what do you guys think? There's a lot to unveil, right? So I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, you can have a discussion in the chat, but um, too much IP stuff. Some of these like this one is, it doesn't feel like a lot of effort for like an idea set. So I, just, just for that, it won't sell at all. Some of these like belong in other themes, like this one, city specific, very, very much so. But this one, way too much creator expert. Yeah. IP, IP, IP. This one, like also like this one, the concept. Mm, yeah. So there are there are some contenders, but but there are some clear winners here, pretty much. This one, yeah, for sure not. Oh yeah. Alrighty. 
So uh, let's move on. This is gonna be a longer uh, stream, I think. My coffee is still warm, and uh, and I enjoy it. So let's let's move away from the big stuff. And uh, but we, I mean, there is still some big stuff. Um, by the way, just an update. Ooh, good thing I ordered this one. It's already on back order. So I wanted to say these are. Hey guys, these are available. Man, I'm so glad I, I ordered mine last night. I clicked like or late at night and it was available, so I ordered it, but now it's back orders accepted. So I'm so happy that I got this one as fast as I did. So it was available as of yesterday, now we can still order it, but it's gonna take two months to get to ya. Yeah? Let's see. Uh, oh, the story of... I didn't get this one. It has a bit of a less appeal to me, but it, again, was available late, late night, at least in the US, and now it's gone, back orders accepted. The Colosseum is available, by the way, we're available, I should update yeah, we're available. Uh, good thing is that the Colosseum is available now, again, it, it's, it's back from the back order status, so you can actually get it, I'm not getting it. Um, too much money right now and I don't really have space for it. So, but you can get it. So it was, it was, it's a good news for somebody who uh, who was waiting for one. Um, and you can come on, load up. Now you can actually buy the Adidas stuff on Lego.com. So it's not exclusive to certain stores or regions anymore. You can actually get anything you want. The shoes. They have the full lineup. The hoodies. Um, I didn't even know they had other colors of shoes, like I, I thought they, were, they had only this one. But the blue ones are kind of cool, now that I see it. Like, because I said like, I don't want the, the colorful one, but I like the blue one. And the red one is nice too, so there's a bunch of... Um, but these are still called kids shoes, so I'm not even sure they have adult sizing. <laughs> but yeah, they have they have full lineup, ready to go. Uh, pullovers, hoodies... Yeah, everything is available. Uh, which was like slightly under the radar and uh, Levi's as well. So Adidas and Levi's they have a full clothing line on lego.com right now So you don't have to worry if you wanted these you can just order straight up from Lego. Oh That one's like a limited edition. Okay. I didn't even, didn't even know. Hey, Iron Andrew. Welcome to the stream. Much love Yeah, oh the socks. Yeah, they have everything. They have everything now. So yeah, you can go you can go to a shop buy uh, new, you can see all new right now, and you can select clothing. Boom, you can select clothing and it's gonna show up. At least, in the, that's, I'm, I'm in the US, so that's a US website, alright? So there is that. Alrighty. We might have a new city set coming. It's called the Crooks Hideout. So it was shown in, I think in a catalog or in a graphic. This one, the red building, so it has a <laughs> You know, if I was a crook, I'm not sure if I want to advertise myself about a giant dynamite piece on the rooftop. Like, hey, police, hi, this is where I'm hiding, hiding. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, the city square, that's the... A modern family house. This is the uh, you can see the box. It's six zero two seven eight. It's a it's a big set. It has the building, the hideout, and he even has like a bomb graffiti on it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> this guy doesn't uh, is not very very smart, isn't he? Uh, and it has a helicopter, which is like a dual rotor kind of like a like the Russian K fifty. Uh, has like two blades on top of it, like con it's a it's a cons it's a technology that is mostly visible in Russian helicopters. Really cool, uh, and it has a big um, like armored police truck. So yeah, cool set I would say, but uh, it's not he's not doing a very good job at hiding his identity. Uh, yeah, you can see the be be better shot here. <laughs> I mean, it's it's cool because like City is finally doing some innovation here and some uh, something that uh, that might be interesting for for not only kids, right? So yeah, we don't know anything else about it. 
uh, just the set number and the, the, the box shot and the um, city shot. All right. <laughs> Coaxial blades. Thank you, Vladimir. Coaxial blades. Yeah. Um, yeah, I only seen those in Russian heli like attack helicopters that come off. Um, yeah. All right. We got the pricing for the Eternals. Uh, so we talked about the Eternals last time, but now uh, people are getting the the catalog in the mail in the US, which was a Canadian thing just uh, like a week ago. But now we know the pricing, so you can see it's a bit blurry because it's just a picture. But 25 bucks for this one, 60 bucks for the red guy. Um, the Space Dorito is 50, I think. If that's a 50 bucks set, it's a really good price. I thought it would be like 80 or something. And this one's just like 10 bucks. But, uh, oh no, it's 90. Why does it say, is that a four? I, I can tell it's so blurry. Maybe it's eight, maybe it's 89. Okay, sorry. So it's actually, a, it's 89, so it's 90. There we go. So it's gonna be 1,040 pieces. Not too shabby. Yeah, you can see the pieces right here. All right. So uh, if I get this, I might get the the, the Dorito spaceship and the uh, the bla the red guy, space pizza. I know, right? So we have that, and also uh, Ninjago Gardens pricing got confirmed. It's three hundred in the U.S. So that's from the U.S. catalog. So I was I was expecting this to be like four hundred. Um, it has 5,685 pieces for 300 bucks. It's as good of, if not better of a deal than the Ninjago City. A must have. January 14 for VIPs or February 1st for everyone else. Who's not a VIP member at this point? If you're buying from Lego, you gotta be, it's free. So yeah, I'm getting this one if I can, man. Sweet, Lord have mercy. Hmm, can't wait for this one. We're gonna build it uh, a bunch of streams. Expect a bunch of streams. All right, so $300 in the US for the city gardens. There's a new rumor floating uh, about the adult-based Porsche 911, set number 10295. So people say, promo bricks, that there's gonna be a set of the classic Porsche 911 with 1,458 pieces for 150. And it's gonna be uh, branded as the 18 plus adult set, just like the botanical collection. So it's interesting to see, cause right now we have the flagship Technic sets, right? Like the, the Scion. And then we have the scaled down Technic sets, like the new for Ferrari 488 GTE, uh, or like the, uh, the Porsche RSR. Still, we do have the creator expert vehicles like the Ecto-1. I'm talking about the new sets. And now, seems like we're getting a new iteration of the cars in form of the black box 18 plus models. So is that meant to replace, is, is Ecto-1 is technically that, but I think Lego is just like really replacing the creator expert. So now all these cars will be actual like black box 18 plus. So I, I, yeah, I'm saying like Pink Wheels, I don't think it's Technic. I think it's not Technic, it's gonna be just a model car. I think it's just the, the new way of saying Creator Expert. So it seems like we might be just getting a licensed Porsche in Creator Expert lineup. Yeah. Oh, you oh you saw a, look, a leaked picture? Yeah, we're not showing any leaked pictures here. If, if, if there is nothing that's like officially unembargoed, then we're not showing this. You can you can share it in my Discord, uh, Embrix, but we're not we're not showing any leaked stuff on the stream. Okay, it's a creator expert. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, interesting. And it's it's soon. It's March first. VIP launch. Huh. Yeah, you guys are saying creator expert. I'm saying creator expert. I don't see why I'm not. I we should be calling these anything else. Creator Expert is so like embedded in my head for cars that I don't know if I'm gonna say it's an adult 18 plus Lego model. Eh. Lego should come up with some sort of a name for these black boxes. They just make like black edition or whatever, like, I don't know, like collectible figures do. 
it's like don't call it like 18 plus build call it like block edition or i don't know lego has to come up with something because we call it, we're just gonna keep saying creator expert yeah the copyright strike is one thing but you know I, I may just get a cease and desist from lego saying like take down the content so it's it's another story so you know lego might just strike my video or that's why we're not leaking stuff and i you know in the future i want to apply to become a lego ambassador network member and with that i have to have a clean slate on my account so i don't want to leak anything so that lego can you know trust me uh, when it comes to becoming their official media guy at some point like um, ambassador in the future um yeah that's from promo brick so they, they don't, they're not showing pictures as well they're just saying like yeah that's so many lego made so many porsches so far so yeah the license is very strong with porsche and lego you paid 500 for ninjago city and price is still going up yeah i should get one before it goes for like a thousand or something I love Porsche, yeah. All right, so video. Uh, what is video? What is video? I have no idea. People say it's Fortnite and Lego combined. Uh, can I open this? Uh, what does it do? Oh. So there is some sort of like it's it's a it's a German now. I don't want to do anything. What what what's happening? Uh, I clicked some German Lego website. Oh, it's Lego Kids. Okay, never mind then. Let's close that. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's a music and video related and its first result. Also, oh, it's the UMG uh, partnership thing. So Universal Music Group and Lego. Yeah, we, we talked about it like, you know, five months ago. I think that's their first fruit of their collaboration. So that's the like glimpse of a minifigure from video. V it's spelled V-I-D-I-Y-O. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, I don't even know if I should be appealed by this or not. Um, but yeah, the Brick fan has... Uh, uh, they're gonna there's a video coming I'm not sure it's out yet but January 26th okay so January 26th is the official unveiling of what video is about uh, it's gonna be like a Lego TikTok or something I know I don't know so we're gonna have to wait until then to see the real workable um, hypeable version of video how do you even how do you even pronounce that video 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 I don't know v video have you watched my YouTube video yet oh no Lego TikTok I know I, I wouldn't bear that as well yeah it's wacky but hey we got trolls so <laughs> Kids love that stuff. I don't know. Video. Video yo 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 video. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm gonna wait until that January 26th. Oh, there's a teaser page. Oh, so that's the same thing. So every website is doing the same thing. So that's the, the teaser graphic pretty much. Stay tuned! Come back on January 26th to discover the awesome world of video and if you just can't wait check the maracas below and hear a sneak peek do you want to hear a sneak peek is that copyrighted i don't want to risk it i would love to see it just click click go to break set i don't want to click anything sound related from lego because last time i showed like uh what did i do i showed uh a trailer or a teaser for lego monkey kid and i got i got a copyright claim for music from Lego. So uh, it was a news video or a live stream, I don't know what it was, but Lego claimed their content on me talking about their stuff, so we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> Whoopsie! I mean, I, it, I didn't lose, uh, I, I lost monetization on that video, but not, not the viewers or anything. All right, we're moving to articles slowly. I'm just gonna, I, I like to bring up the articles from Brickset um, when it comes to passing week. So there was an interesting one I just want to guys to know about. They're using 
uh, of Super Mario sets as a display model. So Super Mario is not very displayable. There are a few sets that really look good on the shelf. I, for myself, cherish the way the sets look when they just like are not being played with. Um, and they're just exploring the ways of making it work. So just mocking a bit with Lego Mario for, for, for the looks. And uh, these look fantastic, actually. It's a, this article is coming from Huff, but also I think uh, it's a contribution by the user named Vorkosigen. Vorkosigen? Vorkosigen. Uh, and he just shows his, some of the um, displays he made for Lego Mario, and I love it. I love it. There's a Mario Kart, there's the castle, actually, with the thumps. Uh, some levels, I think he just took snapshots of certain Mario levels, and I love it, the cannons with the bills. Um, there's a video to it, so I'm, I can you can go there and, and, and look at the video, but yeah, this is basically a snapshot of a level in this like Mario figure scale. I love it, I wanna see you love it. Look at that, it's really pretty. So yeah, he there's a lot of work to be done when you want to uh, get the Mario sets to be uh, displayable, if you will. Um, that's a good article. There is one about the Ninja Go 10th anniversary, how the demo almost disappeared. You can read about that one too. Uh, interesting, it's coming from Blocks Magazine. So Ninja Go is going strong. It's a big thing still, right? So uh, definitely. It's, you can tell, like Ninja Go prevailed through a lot of years that other themes got cancelled, like Ninjago lived through uh, Nexonites and Ninjago lived through Elves, like there are so many themes that started and ended while Ninjago was still going, so for sure, like you can say it's successful, it's, you know, movies on the account, TV show, spin-offs, still like getting releases of major sets like the upcoming City Gardens, uh, so I would say it's a, it's, a, it's a most successful LEGO IP. Chima, yeah, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a good article. This might interest you. Um, there is a uh, brick fan talk to the guys behind the new city plate system, and I again I did not check the system. Um, but they they had an interview with with the design team. And they, they actually, oh, there was another interview, it was a statement that the guys from LEGO actually released on the LEGO Ambassador Network. Do we have a link? Um, so like, there are several benefits from the new LEGO City role plays being introduced in 2021. The new role plays play an integral role in the LEGO City products where it, due to the modular nature of the builds, allows you to be creative and create the LEGO City of your liking. This is the reason we actually uh, believe the new role play provides a more authentic building experience and also because it can be recognized in many ways allowing you to connect your LEGO City buildings. Okay, so the main premise for that was for them to just make it more usable than the, the base plates with uh, city streets. Going forward, we'll also be able to include one or more load plates in relevant products across the LEGO City portfolio. So they're, they're not... Oh, so they want this to like... So it's like, a, it's like uh, the roller coaster pieces. So they would introduce them in certain builds so that way sets can interconnect between each other more than just uh, sets that work only well with the old classic base plates. I think that's what they're trying to say. So, you know, a road can be made into a creator set thanks to that, or into a Marvel set in the future, and that way uh, it can be interconnected with any past sets using this system. So I see that's their point. But th there was a bit of a uproar from the community saying, like, this doesn't work that well, like, you guys should change it. And, uh, well, they worked hard on it, so... Yeah, this, we believe this will be a big advantage for the kids as they don't need to buy a separate road plate product to get started building their LEGO city. Okay, so that's the main point. So yeah, it's a good point. I worked in a LEGO store for three years and we would have like moms and pops and kids coming to the store saying like, oh, like 
I got the set, do, can you guys, do I need to buy a plate separately to make it work? And we would usually say, well, yeah, if you want to build like a Lego city or something, you need those base plates that we sell for like, you know, 10 or bucks a pack or whatever it was. Uh, and now with these in the sets, it's like having a brick separator in the set. You like, you don't know where you're going to need it, but it's there. So instead of like adding a base plate to every set, you have said that the new road building system that can be more easily implemented in smaller sets that way. So I see what they're saying. They're trying to not force people to buy the base plates. That's the main idea. We also acknowledge this is a big change for the A4 community, but we believe the long term the new road plate will allow for even greater fun builds and customization. So yeah, the uproar was mostly from people who already have made, like mostly YouTubers though, <laughs> major cities in their uh, AFOL caves and they would have to s throw away and switch everything. You know, back in Brick Vault, we built a major Lego city and it had custom sidewalks and everything. Everything was based on those base plates. Like imagine now guys like Brick Vault having to rearrange everything with the new system to make it match for the future, to make it uh, usable for the future, right? Because apparently the base plates are getting phased out. Uh, so that's the main concern, but from the market standpoint, this is uh, a thing they want to implement to get more people into being able to create new cities and stuff like that. So I, I see the point, I see, I see their point. You, you can't please everyone. I, 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 I can't, I didn't try the new system yet. I, I don't know, I don't have any sets. Maybe I should buy one set just to figure it out. But I see, I see where they're coming from with this. It's like, it's like future proof. It's more future proof than the base plates. Cause the base plates were like introduced like what? 30 years ago or something, I don't know. Uh, when I was a kid in the 90s, already the base plates were the same exact, you know, concept that they were like a year ago in 2020. <laughs> uh, so the old base plates have the same size, everything is the same, like the standard was made many, many years ago and they're just re... they, they are revamping the entire standard, so of course it will make people mad. Especially people who have who've been collecting LEGO for the past 20 years and have been building their cities for the last 10 years and now a new system is coming it's like changing you know you've been buying it's like basically it's like you you have been buying uh, gas cars for the last 20 years and now everybody has to buy an electric car what's what's that <laughs> so yeah there is that oops oh i just clicked on that okay so see it's popular it's already back ordered so <laughs> people are buying this stuff I don't know if they're actually getting rid of base plates, like I think they're trying to phase them out. I think they're trying to make this the new standard. This is the new base plate, no matter if you like it or not. I think LEGO is investing in a way that this is going to become the new, the new base plate, in a way. Right? And what if the base plates only stay in the modular buildings or something? We'll see, we shall see, alright? Alright, moving on, we talked too much about it. The results. What is your favorite? Wait, is, the, is my music over? Ah, oh, perfect timing. Um, what should we play? News beats. Uh, driving beats. All right. Oh, that's that's too short. Um, yeah, we're enjoying the bricks and coffee, guys. Almost there with the with the content. For today it was a sort of like a big week. I wanted to cover everything, but I'm really trying to get um, to get back on track. This is good. All right. Favorite minifigure of 2020, there was this vote on Brickset, uh, and guess uh, what won? The Orange Spaceman. <laughs> so, I would say the nostalgia is strong in the nation, uh, because the guy that resembles the classic, the most, the, cl the most classic of minifigures pretty much, is has won. The Orange Spaceman was the favorite minifigure of 2020. And I, it wasn't the one, that was the one that came out only in that magazine as an exclusive. It wasn't part of the Spaceman uh, battle pack, right? 
The Child from obviously the Mando was the second, Captain Redbird from Barracuda Bay, Ahsoka Tano was the third, and the Christmas Jumper Darth Vader from the Advent Calendar was the fifth place. And you can see all the other ones. But yeah, I yeah, The Child for sure. Captain Redbird also pretty good choice. Or the Spaceman, I don't have it. Maybe I should get it. Nice. And then we have the favorite set under 40 for 2020. Guess what won? Remember the vote from last week? My Hedwig lost its second place and guess what won? 501st. Obviously, Tiddly Hat in progress, welcome to the stream. Just by 1%. Best Bespin Duel is at place number 6, which I was, I was always considering. The Nebulon B is so high, even though it's so hard to get. But yeah, uh, we talked about it and I was between the 501st and the Hedwig. I chose the Hedwig. It lost. It's the second most favorite set. But yeah, I think we had good choices. The, this is a no surprise, obviously. What, what is surprising is just it won by 1% against the Hedwig. We can see that the numbers... 372 votes for the Clone Troopers and 337 votes for the Hedwig. So only, you know, only uh, 35 votes difference. If all of you watching my stream last week would have voted for the Hedwig, we would have won. <laughs> anyway, there is that. And most popular set of 2020, look at that! Of course! Really cool that the top 5 or top 6 is the, all the sets I... The Ecto-1 is so low! What? For me the top 3 was the Ecto-1, the Mos Eisley and the Barracuda Bay, so... I made the top three with my choices. Barracuda Bay by a whooping 32% votes. Diagon Alley being the second by 9% votes. And the Mos Eisley being the third in 9% of the votes. NES, I agree. Great set. I'm actually getting it very soon. 6% votes. The Bookshop made it really high. Great modular. The Razor Crest, also fantastic set. And the, yeah, all of these. The top 10 for me is a very good choice. Uh, See, the Lamborghini, I talked, it has like quality issues when it comes to coloring and it's it's so low because of that and it's also so unreachable because of the price for many people. I'm surprised the locomotive made it that far. But yeah, the, the Ninjago wasn't even considered like, yeah, it's at the bottom of the list. So the Barracuda Bay got 1446 votes. Um, Dagon Ali, 1000 votes less, pretty much. And just lost one by uh, eight votes with the Isley Mos Eisley Cantina. So there you go. Super good year for Lego. I'm so happy. Of course, Pirates of Barracuda Bay is set of the year material, and I, it's my favorite set of all time. Maybe not of all time, but maybe it is. I don't know. But it's so good, and I'm happy it won. It was like a no-brainer for it to win, pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, Let's move on because I want to like slowly wrap things up because I want to do the second stream today and I don't want to like spend all day on this one. As much as I love you guys, I want to do some building today as well. Uh, there is a rumor that it's gonna be there's gonna be an Amelia Earhart tribute set in 2021. Now don't get excited; it's not like uh, gonna be a massive plane probably. What they're saying it's gonna be their Lego is doing the tributes now and the, the first tribute we have seen is the Charles Dickens tribute. Uh, it was a small gift with purchase. Um, so this is gonna be probably the same thing. It's gonna be a small gift with purchase with a little plane and the minifigure of Amelia in that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm considering this. There wasn't even a like, like Ideas project about it. So there is that. Do you disassemble your sets? Another article from Brickset. Uh, mm, I didn't read this one actually, I just popped it up on the stream do I disable do, do I disassemble my sets and sort them out I'm not a mock builder necessarily so uh, I, I not all my sets are on display um, I, I, I kind of like do this. I mostly like keep them in... Most of my sets are intact in the boxes, actually. Like in a wrap 
uh, foil. That's what I do after the move, actually. Most of them are in the garage, uh, securely stored, so they do not get dusty or anything in the, in the big uh, bins, but they're mostly intact, like wrapped up and uh, just kept together. So I'm gonna say this. Uh, results. Dismantle them back. Oh, a lot of people do that, actually. Oh, and just like 9% of people do that, so I'm like in the minority. Anyway, what do you guys do? You can go to the Brickset to vote. Um, and I think that's the last article I don't want to mention. They, they, they do like a lot of these like kind of cool in-depth articles lately. I, I, I don't know, do you guys enjoy these? I enjoy these. I enjoy like the look of different AFOs on certain things in LEGO. Uh, the composition of the, not the coloring or anything, just the composition, like the shaping. Uh, they even like explain what it means, like hilly composition. So it's like, oh, pointy. So, you know, there's like irregular, like, like the bookshop or the new police station or like flat top, <laughs> like these. Negative space, so there is like empty space, like the um, half floor of the Persian restaurant. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So there's like an empty space and sort of like uh, irregularities in the building. Interesting, I don't know. I wouldn't even like look at the, um, those are like custom ones. Um, I wouldn't even look at this this way. So it's interesting to see, but like, people like really dwell deep into Lego design. Those are customs, beautiful by the way. Uh, yeah. All right, long read, you can look it up. Brickset, everything I take is from brickset.com mostly. Really good website, if you guys probably should know about it already. Um, and I think the last thing I just wanna mention today before we wrap things up is uh, what's next for LEGO Ideas? Cause hey, we're not done yet. We're not done yet with LEGO Ideas, even though 25 projects make it the current review stage. Um, Sleepless Night made a uh, Castle of Lord Eiffel and the Black Knights. So that's what I was saying. So this is the real comeback to the castle. Like, check this out. This is really good, actually. Why am I light so bright? Maybe I should just turn it down just a tad. I'm a bit overexposed, am I? Okay. Oh, Daniel, welcome. We're just like, I'm just having coffee and bricks and coffee is, uh, we're talking about the Lego news and stuff and just uh, wrapping up and recapping the week, uh, the passing week. So that's what I do. It's my new show on the Sunday mornings. We had uh, some rough start today because my computer decided to crash, but we're, uh, we're live, yeah. So right now I'm just wrapping things up and talking about the uh, what just made it to the review stage, the next one of Lego Idea. So this is really pretty darn cool. It's, it's a very classic thingy. The new Lego castle, the new Lego castle. It's only a model. All right, I love it. It's very close to that bricks, Bricklink um, design. So yeah, definitely congrats Sleepless Night on this one. Can't wait to see this one. You can see like it achieved support quickly. It's, it's, it should give a hint to LEGO what to do next, pretty much. Next up, we have another... It's funny enough because just one like this made it to the review stage. And there's another one already in the making uh, for the next review stage. So it's, it's like, it's also a hint like LEGO. Maybe Lord of the Rings, you know, everybody wants it. So there is that. It's, I, I like the first one better, the one that's in the current review stage. This one is from uh, TB Brick Creator. And uh, we have the office again. Same guy. That's the same guy, actually. He was in the review stage in the past. He revamped the project. It, this one got projected once. And he, I think he made it smaller. It's, I love the show, uh, but I think it's gonna be hard to pass. Especially, it's so cubical, so I don't know. It has to be like much smaller. It has to be in the form more like a Friends and uh, Big Bang Theory. I think this is still too big, my friend. So hopefully it's gonna get far this time because it's, it's like the next review series. So LEGO will have to look at it again from the same guy. You see, so like he, had, he it's, it's already twice. People really want it apparently because they keep voting for it. But I, I, Lego has to like reconsider or like we'll see. 
It's gonna be another sitcom in LEGO Ideas, which is a, a thing right now. High demand for lot to come back, yes. And the last one, another Among Us. So you can see, sets are making this based on the popular, the current modern popularity. So this one's from VaderFan187. Um, different, this time it's a minifigure approach, the entire map of the scaled. All right, yeah, I see, but you're gonna have to compete with like 25 other LEGO Among Us sets. <laughs> so everybody, everybody has a different approach, okay? But I, again, I, I don't feel like this is something that LEGO will pursue, unfortunately. We'll see. You're gonna buy The Office Day 1? I would, I would as well. I love the show. I absolutely love the, the Office. It's really cool. I actually visited the building that they were filming this in uh, when I was um, doing some LEGO Masters behind the scenes uh, in 20, 2019. All right, people. I think we're gonna wrap things up here. Um, again, I wanna do a second stream today, later on, with uh, kind of like a showcase of the LEGO Instructions Plus that LEGO is um, asked me to do. So I planned this for this week and this is the best day to do it. Actually, it's the last day of the week. Um, I gotta send some emails to say that, hey, I'm doing this today and I'm, I'm gonna schedule it. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and we're gonna probably do a stream today in like one or two or three hours, we'll see. I'm gonna have to like prepare uh, with my iPad and everything to make it happen. Hey Rico J Ninja, thank you, have a good day as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching for today, for this stream, we're coming back probably later. I love you all, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream even though we had some difficulties in the beginning. But yeah, it was a big news, uh, LEGO News Week. Um, that's what I'm trying to do on those bricks and coffee streams when I try to catch things up, um, just like, you know, revamp, recap. Usually I don't really have time during the week to look at all the LEGO news. I do like a sort of catching up to do every weekend. So I would rather just do it together with you than just alone, pretty much. And make sure to like and subscribe. I love this thing. Like it just, I don't know, it was like eight bucks in the small like home improvement store and just, I had to get it. I don't know, it's so cool. It can light up. So like for night streams, but right now it's overexposed because it's a, there's a lot of natural light coming in, but I love it. I love it. So a really cool little addition to this empty wall that I had behind me. Anyway, and yeah, the, the, the little heart, that's, that's my kids. Like I wanted to just have it like clean, like and subscribe, but they said like, oh, you have emojis. And they, they just added all these hearts and little things. So that's my kids. There is that, there is that. The sign is cool, thank you. Yeah, you can find these, like, go to, like, uh, Ross, I think in the US it's like Ross stores, like those discount stores, and you can get these for like eight bucks. Hey, have a good one, coffee in hand, so enjoy your day. No worries, I'll absolutely, like, take the day off. Uh, I, I wanna, like, also spend some time outdoorsy today, so we're not gonna be streaming whole day, but I wanna, it's gonna be a, it's not gonna be a very long stream, because I have, like, two small sets to build. Great stream, thank you. Appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Hang in there, Have a, enjoy your Sunday, have fun, love you all. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Do all these things, okay? <laughs> Partial, thank you. So see you then. I'm gonna like, keep, keep an eye on my channel, so I'm gonna schedule that out, okay? I think I, forgot, I even forgot to tweet uh, this stream, which is weird. Anyway, love you guys. I see you pretty. Pretty soon. Peace out.